Good afternoon. What if eating well were easy? What if losing weight were easy? This isn't my way of introducing some magic pill or fatty diet to you, but rather the beginning of a conversation about limiting beliefs. Do you know roughly how computer code works? A code is created and once inputted into, into a program or into a computer or software, it, it tells the computer how to do things in a certain way. The code results in specific outcomes and computers and software are programmed to behave according to the code. Well, this is how we work too. And when we believe something to be true, our behaviours are manipulated so that the outcome matches our beliefs. Or to put it another way, you are programmed to behave according to your beliefs. Now you may be thinking, my beliefs? What does religion have to do with all of this? I'm not talking about that kind of belief. I'm talking about our deep-rooted conditioning, how we see the world, how we see ourselves. I touched on this the other day when I was talking about how if you believe that you'll never lose weight or that you're a failure or that you can't stick to diets, that you're lazy, then all of those things are true because your beliefs are your code and you're programmed to act according to your beliefs. Is this making sense? Let me know if it's not. I know it's uh, an interesting concept. There are so many limiting beliefs that you could and do have, and you won't be aware of them. It takes some real reflection and analysis of your choices and behavior to start identifying them. And once you have identified them, then you can start to change them by questioning them and picking them apart. One that we're probably all familiar with from school is the I can't one. Did you ever have a teacher say to you, you can't or you won't? You're probably telling yourself things all the time that keep you from achieving your goals. I can't go to bed earlier. I can't eat more vegetables. I can't reduce the bread. I can't fit in a workout. I can't find 10 minutes to relax. And in reality, you can do all of those things. You just told yourself so many times that you can't, that you now believe it to be completely true and that all of those things are just impossible, right? And actually, the truth is, is that you won't do those things. And there's a big difference. One of my favorite mindset shifts that I've been using a lot recently is what if it were easy? Whenever I felt resistance doing something, you know, a workout, writing a report, cooking dinner, cleaning the house, doing the accounts, you know, I've said to myself, it doesn't have to be hard. What if it were easy? The only reason why those things are ever hard is because I believed they were. And when I asked myself, what if it were easy? It instantly lifts that resistance because it reminds me that all of those things are easy. I'm just making them hard by resisting them. And if I actually just got on and did them without that mindset struggle of, oh, but it's hard, then wouldn't that be so much easier? We have a tendency as humans to make things harder or seem harder than they really are. I hear over and over again, um, eating well is hard, eating well when you have young kids is hard, staying active when you work full time is hard, getting to bed on time is hard, managing stress is hard, uh, starting a new way of eating is hard. But what if you decided that all of those things were easy? Ask yourself, what would this look like if it were easy? What would implementing that look like if it were easy? This is 
all about letting go of that mental struggle so that you can just get out of your own way and get on with the things that you know you need to do. So that's all I have for you today. Reflect on this. Think about the things that perhaps you know you should do or the things you want to be doing but you tell yourself you can't or that it's hard or other things that you tell yourself that keep you stuck and see if you can pick them apart and turn them around. So you will, you can, it's easy. It makes a difference, honestly. I use it myself and it makes my life so much easier and it helps me push through the resistance when I'm trying to do something or I want to do something, but I just can't implement it. So hopefully this has been helpful. If you have found it helpful, then make sure you give us a like. That tells Facebook that you found it helpful and it shows it to more people. And I'll be back tomorrow to continue Motivation Week and continue getting you motivated and ready to get your arse in gear and get on with it. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.